Two young black men from New Orleans started from the bottom, and now they're not only here, they are millionaires. These Louisiana Tech University grads went from selling candy at school as teens to now running a seven-figure clothing company. Marlon Watts is co-founder of World Envision, which sells everything from tees to jogging sets to hoodies, and he joins us here on Start Your Day. Uh, good morning to you, Marlon. Hey, good morning. How you doing, Mike? I cannot complain whatsoever. I love young black entrepreneurs, man. I'm proud of you, and uh, congratulations on everything. But you, you guys started by selling candy, uh, iPhone accessories at school, and you did all this to support your family, keep busy, staying out of trouble. You made a uh, hundred dollars a day, then you, then you started selling the t-shirts, and ultimately turned that hobby into a business. But ultimately, overall, how, what would you say was the key to your success? How'd you do it? I mean, honestly, uh, I played football, basketball, and baseball, and uh, that allowed me to travel a lot. So um, by being from New Orleans, a lot of people don't get outside of New Orleans, but I had the opportunity to see different things. And um, I, always, I always would just travel to these places and be like, man, it's like really so much more out here. And so I was always just intrigued with just traveling and entrepreneurship in a whole and we were entrepreneurs before we knew we were entrepreneurs by selling candy and iPhone accessories. But it wasn't until, uh, you know, college that we took our hobby and turned it into a business. We actually got in a business accelerated program at Louisiana Tech. And that's when it, we learned about taxes, balance sheets, team building, marketing. Before just us just selling T-shirts, um, you know, just for fun, just so that we didn't have to ask our parents because the answer was already no. Um, so we just wanted to make a way for ourselves and make a way for our family, too, and build generational wealth. Love it. I uh, love that spirit. Love that growth. And, 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 yeah, it is good to get outside the environment, especially if you don't see any examples uh, within your environment uh, that you can look up to to uh, make a, a way out. I did the same thing when I was in, uh, in Alabama. But I, I want to go back to because you, you guys were selling candy and, and iPhone accessories, and it just reminded me, when I was in school, I, I had a classmate named Greg, and he used to always come to class. He had his briefcase. He would pull it out, and he had, like, little gummy bears. He had uh, candy bars. He had now laters. He had lemon heads. Greg got suspended <laughs> Greg, because they told Greg he couldn't do that in school. <laughs> well, so I, 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 can, yeah. I can understand you doing things like that and, 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 and making money. But I, 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 asked, I did that to, to set up the, the kind of obstacles that you and your partner had to overcome uh, some people try and discourage such growth. What were some of the obstacles you had to overcome? All right, just uh, a few early on is just one people taking us serious. So two 14, 15 year old boys trying to sell, you know, t-shirts. Um, no one's looking at us like we're a big brand, like we're Yeezy or Nike or Jordan. You know, nobody's mm -hmm. seeing the vision because we're so young. And so age was definitely a factor. Um, and then next, it was actually knowing people that was already doing these things. No one around us owned businesses. Like, you know, uh, families that I met now, uh, these kids have been investing in stocks since they were 8 and 10 years old. They was talking about this at the dinner table. Um, and then next, the big thing that really changed for us is, uh, I want to say it was 2017. And we went to Atlanta. One of our friends had just got drafted to the NFL, and we were going, um, you know, celebrate that. And we came back, um, and all our stuff was gone. Was like the laptop for my mm -hmm. partner, the the computer, the uh, game, the uh, the camera, the money that we had for the brand. It was all just because mm -hmm. we wasn't able to bring it to the house because recently, before then, before we before we went out, we caught a flat. So we wasn't able to even put everything up. And you know, like the whole company was basically gone. And uh, we looked, you know, it was, it was a rough time. And we looked and we said, man, if we stop this brand, you know, everybody's looking at us right now because we were becoming one of the bigger brands in the city at that point. And if we stop, who, who you know, they're definitely going to feel like they don't have no hope. And they're definitely going to feel like that they can't make it. And, and that's when we really changed our mindset. We started to read books, listen to podcasts, uh, actually, you know, uh, meet with other business owners in the community, develop mentorships, and, and get knowledge and apply this knowledge 
And that's when our brand really started to grow. Oh, I love that story. That that is a great story of of overcoming the adversity to keep that vision alive. And like you said, people may not see that vision, but as long as you see that vision and you believe in that vision, then that matters. Um, and, and the world can see that vision. So tell me about the name World in Vision. What's the significance of that? All right. So when we first started, we were actually called World Invasion. Um, but my partner mm. thought that it would be cool because we, you see those curved shirts that we have now uh, with World mm -hmm. Invasion. It was just so long and it didn't actually fit and look uh, and look, you know, unique. And so we decided to take all the vowels out besides the eye. And uh, once we went to college, people actually started to call it World Invision. And it was just so hard to get people to uh, to change, you know, if they read it as World Envision and then we're saying, no, it's World Envision. And then it was just one day we sat back and was like, man, you know, World Envision actually sound better. And everything actually started mm. to come together. We made that logo when we was 14 years old. And was, and then the World Envision happened and it all everything like all came together for us. And we could have been like, no, well, World Envision is the name. We don't want to change it. But we rather, uh, the people make this brand. And so if the people mm -hmm. are saying World Envision mm -hmm. and, it all, and it all made sense, we thought that it was best to change it. That, that's great advice. I, I got about 30 seconds. I got to wrap up, man. I'll enjoy talking to you. But uh, you guys are using social media, obviously, like a lot of people are doing these days. Uh, so in, in the last 30 seconds we have, uh, there are entrepreneurs, including my daughter who started clothing line, uh, that is looking for advice from somebody like you. What advice do you give to uh, young, uh, not just African-American, but just anybody that's looking to start uh, their business and, and keep it going? All right, one, I'm going to say, if you really want to do it, you have to take it serious. No one else should be telling you to go hard at something you want to go hard at. Two, you're going to have to get knowledge. You're going to have to do research. You're going to have to uh, talk to other people. You're going to have to meet with other business owners. And three, your environment is key. Who you keep around you, who you associate yourself with, who you take advice from, it all matters. So uh, that's going to be the three things that I say to help you get mm. to the next level. Marlon, I like you, man. Uh, you know what? I can see why you guys are really successful because you're working hard and you got that great spirit. And I'm definitely going to support, man. So, uh, Marlon Watts, man, thank you for uh, sharing your knowledge and coming on and telling your story with us here on uh, Start Your Day. You're welcome back anytime, my brother.